Yo, what plant is that? What plant is hey, that? Hey, that plant is that's that? That's a pretty flower. What plant is that? What? What is that? That's me. Greetings. Here we have common evening primrose. Scientific name, Enothera biennis. This plant is also in the edible and medicinal category. To identify this plant, you will notice that it has alternating leaves that are slightly toothed and lance shaped with a yellow flower that generally has four petals, large similar to a heart shape. The stems and the jutting off buds are hairy. For eating purposes, the tender leaves can be eaten raw, but the roots and the more mature leaves are both boiled for 20 to 30 minutes in two to three changes of water to ease off some of the bitter taste. The leaves and flowers are also used as a tea. Common evening primrose contains vitamin E and provides also calcium, potassium, and omega-3 fatty acids. And this omega-3 fatty acid that has been most notable is omega-3 essential fatty acid 6, known as GLA or gamma linolenic acid. This, this omega-6 essential fatty acid has anti-inflammatory effects on the body. The seeds are often pressed into an oil which you get the essential oil from and it helps to support hormone balance and has been found to be effective for reducing menstrual cramps, bloating, water retention, breast tenderness, hot flashes, and, and irritability from hormone swings. GLA is essential for maintaining brain function, skeletal health, reproductive health, metabolism, and stimulating the skin and hair growth. So it is also beneficial not only for women, but also for men in that respect. The oil is also used for acne, eczema, PMS symptoms, for a healthy heart and blood pressure. And the heart issue and the blood pressure may come in due to the potassium that it provides, which helps to regulate the heart rhythm. The oils from the seed also, it is important to note that this oil is a blood thinner. It's known as a blood thinner which is fine in the case of someone who has uh, very thick blood. This would be a medicinal effect, but if they do not have very thick blood, it would be a caution. It is a bronchiodilator and a vasodilator, which means it opens up the lungs and the veins, makes it easier to breathe, and reduces hyperactivity in cases of ADHD when used as a T. It is a nervine and it is said to benefit in getting into a better sleep state when you're going into REM sleep nervines can generally aid in assisting you stay in that state longer so you wake up feeling more refreshed and more well rested some of the native tribes in America have used this plant as a strong tea also called an infusion as a dietary aid and the root was boiled and used as a poultice for hemorrhoids Chewed roots were rubbed onto muscles as a strengthener, and the poultices used for bruises and the seeds by various tribes were used for unspecified ailments, and they were treasured for their aromatic fragrance. This has been the Common Evening Primrose. I hope it has been informative. If you have any existing health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life, to a more traditional lifestyle, after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly, and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.
Oja, how excellent is thy name in all the world. How manifold are thy works set right in all the world. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings are thou art deep strength. To steal the enemies and the adventure. Jump, jump, jump.